Hey, what's up guys? So we're out here and we just finished running all this render coating. Uh, this is a 765 and then we're gonna actually run a 2K top coat over the top of it. Uh, what we like to do is we like to do a soft, very soft and subtle patina first, as you can see, um, because this is like a glaze style finish. So after that, we're gonna do a pinstripe, which we've already done all these pieces. But I, I kind of wanted to go through and show you the process of how we do. So here's one that's pretty much almost done. Uh, we're going through and we're cleaning it up right now. Ed is cleaning this one up right here right now. So we're going through and we're just making sure it's nice and softened up. All right. And then we're going to do this one so you guys can see how we do uh, this one here. So from soft patina first, wipe it off and clean it. And then after we do the glazing, and we're using, actually, we're kind of cheating. Go ahead and move that one over, Eddie. We're actually cheating. We're actually using Renner's uh, Breakaway. This is their Breakaway stain, but we're using it as a wet glaze. Uh, if you keep it wet, which this one dries very fast, if you keep it wet, you can definitely work it, but you got to keep it wet with a damp rag. So uh, we, I did a little test sample first. As you can see, this is my test sample. I did a little test sample first. This is the sample door that was provided to us. And uh, so I knew we were gonna be okay. It just had to be tweaked a little bit in how we applied it. I tried the breakaway and it actually got a little too dirty. So uh, we're doing it this way. We're doing it, we're gonna apply it as a wet glaze. And it works. Like I said, you just gotta work kind of fast when you're doing it. For one. So uh, I'm taking this little artist brush. I typically like a 45 degree brush, but I give a bunch of them away. To my customers after for touch up so i'm gonna go through and i'm just gonna take my my line on the inside here and i'm not really worried about getting my line like super clean or anything i'm just trying to get the the color in the, in the edge so i'll actually kind of just wet it over the edge a little bit and then with the angle of the brush i'll let it come over the edge of the door just like so and the main thing is is to just keep this wet and you won't have no problems working it. So now I have a, a damp cloth that I'm working right here. And as you can see, if I take it, I just get myself a nice, clean, fresh area like this. And then I'm gonna go through and just wipe it down, just like that. And this is not like a sharp pinstripe, like some of them are, which some guys use pinstripe guns. I actually have a different technique for doing that that I'll show in another video. But I'll just take it with a damp rag because this is water-based glaze. This is water-based actually uh, breakaway. And I'll just take my finger and I'll just kind of work it back and forth until it gets nice and soft. And then I'll take another rag and then clean it up. So my, my inside line, as you can see, is pretty much almost there. Right here, if you come in, Eddie, right here, you can see the patina is just a little bit darker right there. So I'm just going to kind of get my finger and just kind of soften it up just a little bit. And then I'll come back and then with the, with the rag, clean it up nice and even. But this glaze actually works really nice. So that's, the, that's our inside line is pretty much done. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the outside line. So, same thing. I'm not worrying about being all precise with it. I just wanna make sure that my main thing is to get it inside the groove. Get it inside the groove. That to me is the most important part. Okay, get it inside the groove. Even if it gets on the other mullet, I'm not worried about it. We got a second to work with it. You gotta hustle though a little bit because it will it will set up on you pretty quickly. There you go. <clears throat> and like I said, it looks like a hot mess right now. But I'm just gonna go through, take it off my face first with a damp rag. And this is a breakaway too, guys. So remember, this is a breakaway. If you need to, you can still sand some of this off if you have to. I'm gonna go through and soften my inside edge up here. And then what I'm doing is I, I keep turning the rag till I get a clean area. So I just keep moving it until I get a clean area of the rag, just like that. Okay. I typically like a little bit higher table, but we're using them all up right now. So, but that's fine. 
And then I'll go through and clean up this inside area here. Come back in here. Make sure it's soft. I don't want it real harsh anywhere. Again, I just keep the whole time I'm turning this to a clean area of the rag. Okay. Go back through. Make sure it's clean. Make sure there's nothing on the face of it. And pretty much we're there. So again, this this is the Renner breakaway glaze and um, I love this product it's a great product I did apply it in the breakaway but for me it was biting a little bit too hard to the door for what we were doing um, but on the bottom we used uh, Renner 765 1k with a catalyst to make it nice and hard and then now we're gonna we did our patina on it and then after that we're gonna run our uh, 851 on top of it. Our doors and molding and, and the cat, I mean, excuse me, the cabinets and the molding is already all done. Uh, we'll probably let these set for about half an hour or so, maybe 45 minutes to let the patina dry. And then we'll be able to apply a top coat to it. All right, so hopefully this helps you guys um, to see how we do it. I have one dry rag here also. So even if I come back and if I see something that's a little bit heavy, I can, I can come back and I can wipe it in and and soften it up. But I'm gonna grab our sample door. This one's kinda of beat up. And this one's kinda of dirty, but you can see we're there. Not bad. First time I ever used a breakaway glaze this way, but I knew that it probably could be used this way. Uh, you know, you gotta experiment, guys. You gotta test things. And where my test sample came was on my piece of crown molding. So I knew right away that I needed something with a little bit of decoration to mimic the line. So we sanded this, primed it, and then painted it to make my test sample for, for that there. And as you can see, uh, it's perfect. So hopefully this helps you guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.